Let's take a look at the core settings needed to offer online booking in your practice. First, you must make sure that online booking is indeed turned on. And then up to you whether you're going to allow online rescheduling and cancellations as well. Most providers do like getting notifications when an appointment has been booked online or canceled or rescheduled, so most providers leave these on. Now let's take a look at the cutoff. Cutoff means that no appointments will be offered, even if they're available, until the amount of time in the future has been met. For example, if your patient or client logs in on a Monday and the cutoff is two days out, that means she or he will not see any appointments available until Wednesday at the earliest, even if you do have availability today or tomorrow. If you'd like to change this to, say, tomorrow, then change this to one day and patients and clients will see more last-minute availability. How far out indicates how far in the future your schedule can be booked. One year means that patients or clients will see any openings for the next year. If that's too far out, you could change it to, say, 30 days. It really depends on the kind of practice you have and how much flexibility you want your patients and clients to have when booking versus how much control you want over your calendar. Now, let's look at the appointment types that have to be created. These are what patients or clients actually see when they book online. Here we have two appointment types set up, but you can add as many as you like. The padding at the end of the appointment is the time you wish to reserve for your notes or bathroom break or anything else. So if you wish for patients or clients to book your therapy appointment, you have to reserve a slot for 60 minutes, not 50 minutes, because the system is looking at the total time, which is the length plus the padding, not just the length. In this case, therapy is 50 minutes, but padding is 10 minutes, so the total is 60 minutes. Similarly, if you want to offer a med check, the total is 30 minutes, so when you open up a time slot for online booking, you have to reserve at least 30 minutes for a 25-minute med check with a 5-minute padding to be booked. Finally, your cancellation policy is displayed to the patient or client when they are picking an appointment, and you can feel free to edit that as you wish. At how to open up slots for online booking. First, click anywhere in the portal you wish to open up a time slot. If there are already appointments present during that time slot, don't worry, those time slots will not show as available in the portal. In this case, let's choose 1 to 5 p.m. So we'll click on 1 p.m. and we'll reserve it for online bookings. We'll click event, Edit Event and we're going to choose both therapy and med check types of appointments to offer. And since we wanted to hold it till 5 p.m., we'll choose four hours. Let's set this up to be offered Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday indefinitely. And let's offer this just for the calendar that represents the 123 Main Street office. Of course, if you could somehow be in two offices at once, you could offer more than one calendar. As a side note, some providers have a calendar just for phone or video appointments, and then they do check both the calendar that represents the physical office and the calendar that represents the virtual one. But in this case, we'll just select the calendar that represents 123 Main Street. Now we'll go ahead and save it. And we'll make sure that we have actually satisfied all the requirements that we need to satisfactorily offer online bookings. Have I allowed enough time for appointments plus padding? Yes, you've allowed four hours and your shortest appointment time plus padding is 30 minutes. Have I picked only the appointment types that I want to appear? Yes, I'd like therapy and med checks to appear. Have I picked only the calendars that I want to appear? Yes, I only picked 123 Main Street. And do I need to adjust my cutoff or how far out settings? No, I reviewed them just before we set this up. So we'll go ahead and proceed. And we'll see that every day now, Monday through Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. is reserved for online booking. And we can even go weeks out in the future and it still shows up. The 2 p.m. appointment that John Doe has on Monday will remove that time from the online inventory. Note, you can always add on appointments manually. The reserve for online booking slot is just a reminder to you that those slots are available online, but they don't preclude you from booking your own appointments, and anytime you yourself book an appointment, that time will be removed from the online inventory. Now, again, as a patient or client, to see what this all looks like in the portal. This is Clark Kent's dashboard. He'll click Book Online, 
and he'll see the inventory of appointments that you've made available. In this case, let's look at Monday, April 2nd. A 1 p.m. appointment is offered because that's when you opened up the calendar for booking. However, 2 p.m. is not shown because you had already scheduled a 2 p.m. appointment yourself, and that appointment lasted 50 minutes. So the next appointment shown is 2.50 p.m. The next appointment shown is 3.50 p.m., and that's because you designated that therapy appointments were 50 minutes, plus you wanted 10 minutes of padding after that slot. Note that 4.50 p.m. is not shown because you only opened up the calendar from 1 to 5 p.m., and this would mean you'd be stuck in the office until after 5 p.m., so the system does not offer it. Now, if Clark changes the appointment type, then the system automatically recalculates based on the time of that appointment plus the padding that you had previously indicated for that appointment type. If Clark changes the office location, then the system will automatically show the appointments for that office. Note that no appointments are shown because you didn't allow this calendar for 56 Elm Street to be booked. So let's go back to 123 Main Street and a therapy appointment for April 2nd. He'll go ahead and pick the 1 p.m. appointment. He'll choose a 24-hour reminder, and he'll confirm and book it. And the appointment now automatically shows up in Clark's portal, both in the schedule section and on his dashboard. Now back in your calendar, if you look at Monday, April 2nd at 1 p.m., voila, the appointment Clark booked shows up in your calendar. And that's online booking. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know.